No matter the place, I'm still the best there is. All right, it's been a while since I've gone all out. So I'll show you my, show you the strength of a top trainer. Now, will he be level 50 something as well? Will he be stuck in the 50s? Because you'd think blue would be stronger, right? Oh, nope. Nope, he's actually, he's in the 60s. Okay. Yikes. Uh, normal type. There's nothing I can do except hope for a really strong stab attack and see how much I can do. Oh, it's faster than me because it's Tauros, of course. Ouch. May wish to switch in Eevee for this, actually. Oh, dear. Yup. Actually, I could switch in Mewtwo if I wanted. Sure. Just because. Didn't realize he would not be in the 50s and he would not be stuck using ground Pokemon, that's for sure. <laughs> this is complete bull. Yeah. Of course, I mean, it's Tauros. Um... Yeah, I think we're just gonna hit it with Stab Psychic. We could Mega Evolve, but... I don't think Mewtwo's going to struggle with taking any of these down. Uh, my favorite Pokemon. Honestly, it's hard to pick a singular favorite Pokemon. I mean, if I had to, I'd probably say Mewtwo, since I'm a, a Gen 1-er. Like, I've literally only played Gen 1. I have played Red and Blue. I didn't play Fire Red or Leaf Green. And now, this is the first Pokemon game I have played since the old uh, Red and Blue back on the Game Boy. This is the first Pokemon I've, game I have played since then in, yeah, like 20 years. Um, is, the, is, ironically, the remakes of, is yet another set of remakes for Gen 1. So I have not played Gen 2 or the other Gens. I have seen a lot of videos on those generations. Like, I've actually been uh, following some videos on competitive Pokemon to see, like, what's good and how things work. So I do know lots of stuff about other Gens. But I don't... I've never actually played them, though. And I am super looking forward to the Gen 4 remakes, though. Super looking forward to, forward to those Gen 4 remakes. They're going to be awesome. Uh, yep, Shadow Ball. Ooh, it didn't die. Dazzling Gleam. Interesting choice. Maybe I should Mega Evolve. You loved Gen 4, but you're not excited for the Gen 4 remakes, Joel? Well, why not? You, uh, duck game, you've played one of every game since Diamond, huh? All right. sounds good. From what I've seen, Gen 4 is probably the best gen. Uh, I would prefer to see a non one-to-one -one remake, similar to Heart Gold Sold Silver remakes. Uh, I'm not sure I understand what you mean, Joel. Uh oh, crunch. Oh, that's not good. Time to switch in our most overpowered Pokemon. Get him, Eevee.
Crunch ain't gonna do nothing. Your quad weak to electric. Uh, they add newer Pokemon up to Gen 5. Newer, newer story and mechanics. Well, the story should be maybe just an expanded version of the story they originally had, which was pretty decent, I thought. And as for the mechanics, that's good. Like... I, I don't see I don't see the, the the trouble honestly. Extra chapters, okay, that's a good thing, isn't it? How would that be bad? I mean, unless it's just really bad extra chapters, but Sisley slide. Heart Gold Soul Silver, they only added up to Gen 4, and the story was identical. Gen 4 is going to be the same with no extra? Oh, okay. Well, okay. Plot doesn't necessarily have to be different, though. Like, honestly, it's really. What, Honestly, the big thing is just gonna be the updated graphics and stuff. Of course, you know, to be fair, all right. I will, I'll be fair with you though. I didn't play the original Gen 4. So it might be that I'm more excited because, you know, you're, you're saying the only thing they did was add some side stuff. Okay, so if you purchased the original game and played it through to completion, you might not be as excited for the remakes because it's just, repurchasing something you already have and it has updated graphics and mechanics because there will be fairy types for one thing um and and so you might feel like you know it's not that much of an upgrade it's just updated graphics and a couple updated mechanics with a handful of extra side stuff thrown in i can see i can see your position but for me i've never played gen 4 at all um, and honestly, it's one of the gens I was considering, uh, you know, emulating or something to be able to play it. Um, you know, and, and then I, and then the Gen 4 remakes got announced and I was super hyped because I've, I've seen the story for the game and I know, and I know a lot about the Pokemon in that game, you know, and I, I've longed to play it for some time. You know, but I was never sure how or when I wanted to do it, and now the remakes are the perfect excuse for me. So it works out nicely. Gosh, what's a rock slide? I got flinched. Get out of here. Oh, you better not. Two flinches in a row. You can just stop now, game. You can stop being like this. Get out of here, piece of garbage. Uh... uh I mean, okay, that does sound pretty limiting with only two two fire types. But to be fair, Infernape is really good. Infernape is easily the best starter for Gen 4. Like, the other two are decent, but like, like, Empoleon's actually pretty decent, but... Yeah, no, Infernape is the best. It's fast, it hits really hard. Like, it's definitely the best. Uh, have I ever tried any fan-made ROM hacks? No, and I probably never will, because I have too many of the actual games to get caught up on, much less the ROM hacks. Um...
Fire Blast. Ow. Red's team is actually pretty decent. Rocks, no rock slide nonsense. I couldn't get a rock slide flinch. Oh, Hyper Beam. Whoa, hello. Oh dear, that's pushing it. Get out of here. Tons of uh, Bronzong. Yeah, I know, I know, I know Bronzong. Steel Psychic. The most mid to late game bosses. Napoleon's ice versus grass. Ground moves versus fire monkey. Yeah, yep, yep. Man, what, a, what was I doing? As long as I can battle strong opponents, I don't care what happens. You get what I mean, right? Better come back again. You do need to remodel your gym, though. Maybe take the force panels out of here. I'm getting dizzy. People are bound to get dizzy just on their way in. Yeah, needs to paint Jim blue instead of red and gray. Um, for sure. Also, you notice his Pokemon were not all ground type Pokemon, so like, what's the theme of his gym? Like, I assume gym leaders have multiple teams for different levels of trainers that come in, right? Like, what if somebody grew up in, say, in, in, you know, on Cinnabar Island and wanted to start their Pokemon journey from there? You know, they couldn't just go up to Blaine and be like, he uses his, you know, level 50-something Pokemon, right? Like, he would pull out weaker Pokemon since they're just starting out, since it's their first gym. I would assume that that's how the gyms should work. You know, otherwise kids would get discouraged really fast. <laughs> or they would all have to travel specifically to Brock's gym because he's the weakest gym leader and start from Pewter. Like, no matter where they grew up. Right? Like, so I assume that each gym would have their own... Like, they would have different teams based on the level of the competitor that came in. Homebrew gym thing for local league. Ah, huh, alright. Sounds interesting. Huh. Uh, yeah, what am I doing? I am healing. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's heal up, because that fight was actually kind of intense. Now, they shall cut a path of destruction through the Elite Four. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, the wild Pokemon in certain areas. I mean, imagine a balanced Pokemon game. Imagine a Pokemon game that was actually completely balanced. Where you could actually choose to start in any of the cities that you have to go to for a gym battle. And the game just has automatic... You know, like, just kind of a, a setup that's generic enough that it literally just puts the building for, like, the professor and your house in each of those cities. And it just has, like, a generic layout so it can easily place it in any of the cities you choose. 
and you can start at any one and eat they'll have different teams based on your levels when you get there the wild pokemon there'll be high super high level ones and super low level ones in the same areas and maybe there will be like you know ways that you can avoid the high level the high level ones and only go for the low level ones but you could if you wanted to you could go and chase after the super high level ones that's true also it yeah you're right it could be delivered to us like we don't necessarily need a specific building for like the professor it could just be electronic unless we go and visit him in like a separate town or something but like with the wild Pokemon, there could be high and low level at the same time wandering around and you have a choice, you know, you could be smart and just go for the low level ones when you're starting out. Or if you wanted to be crazy and lose, you could go after the high level ones. Just putting the choice there would make it more realistic, right? Um, party. Let's see, we're headed to the Elite Four, so... Let's go and pay them a visit. Right, okay, so they do that in Gen 8's free roam area? Perfect. So now if they allowed you to choose where you start, That'd be great. And then have the gym leaders have different teams based on your level at the time you challenge them. So you can challenge all the gyms in any order you want to. You know? And not have a set order. Or they could have a set order based on the town you start in. Could be that, too. Like, there's there's ways to make the Pokemon games more realistic, you know? More understandable. Another thing I liked about Gen 8 was it wasn't just, like, you know, battle the Elite Four and become the champion, because how would that work with multiple people going through the Elite Four? Let's say, you know, five or six people a day go through the Elite Four... You know, but like, does the previous champion just have to stand there all day and constantly battle over and over again until someone beats them? And then they, and then the next person becomes champion? Like, it should be set up tournament style, and the tournaments should only be every so often. Like, the Elite Four should be something like a final test. Like, like, okay, you have to beat the Elite Four to qualify for the tournament, and the tournament is what gets you you know, to be champion or not. And I like how Gen 8 had kind of a tournament-ish setup. The problem, but the problem was the Gen 8 tournament was based on the gym leaders, which is like, okay, so are the gym leaders allowed to compete for champion? Because they kind of shouldn't be because they're gym leaders, or I guess maybe they could if they had a replacement in, you know, set up in, you know, for that, like, I guess they could. Uh, yeah, we're gonna lead with Eevee, though. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna fix this. Hold on. Let's play with Eevee for a minute. Let's give golden bananas. Okay, no more petting, fine. Uh... 
I don't remember that, however, that sounds more or less like exactly what I'm saying. You know, it'd be like, how many badges do you have? You know, at what point are you in your journey? Okay, then I'll use this team. Oh, you have four badges? Okay, then you get the mid-level team, right? Oh, you have, oh, I'm your last stop? Okay, well then I'll pull out my strongest team. And we'll see if you're really ready to go, you know? That's how it should be. That's how a Pokemon game should work. That would be much more realistic. Save the progress. All right. Let's go, Lorelei. Nuke it! Eevee nuke! Go! Eevee used Atom Bomb. And it's very much super effective. I see their levels in the 60s. That's good, that's good. Yeah, that's another thing. If there's going to be eight gyms per region, the Elite Four of that region should not have any of the types that are um, set up for those gyms. So, like, if you have, you know, eight different types of gyms, then the other four, then the Elite Four should be four separate types from the gyms. So that way you're covering at least 12 different types before any Pokemon trainer is allowed to qualify for the tournament to become champion. You have to know and be familiar with at least 12 out of all out of 18 types and how to fight before you can even qualify for the tournament. Um, Cause let's be real, if you know what types they are in advance, the gyms are really just basic knowledge checks is what they are. You know, if you come in with a super effective type, that's really all you need to do. I should use fire. What am I doing? I'm not paying attention is what I'm doing. That's okay. It's paralyzed, so it might not do much. I don't know why I'm picking electric here. I love how I love how Eevee avoided the move while asleep. It's great. Good thing multiple status effects aren't a thing in this game. There we go. That's what I should have done to begin with. What am I doing? Yeah, sounds like a good way to do it. <sighs> Again, just mentioning this, I'm probably never gonna play any like ROM hacks or whatever. Because again, I haven't actually played the, the original games yet. I haven't finished playing the originals. And by the time I'm done with that, yeah, I'm not gonna have time for Romax. Also, I play more than just Pokemon on this channel, just so you know. Okay, lots of defense. So, let's go with this. It's also part water type, so. Yeah, I was about to say, Cloyster is maybe a bad choice to use. Physical move on.
Interesting. Interesting deck game. Yeah, I did see that part where Rose had a brother. I was like, wow. Oh, she has six. Okay. Hmm. You know what I probably should be doing? Probably should be powering up. Yeah, yeah. I, I like I said. I've, I've watched all the gens. I, I like. I know the the story and stuff. At least I watched them at one point. But yeah, I do remember that about Gen Eight, where like the old lady's looking for a replacement because she wants to retire. Chris, thanks. Asleep? I don't think so. Oh, come on, game. You can just stop that. Stop your nonsense. Stop wasting my time. I mean, at least this isn't at least it's not quite as bad as, like, original red and blue. In, in original red and blue, if you got frozen, then you could not be unfrozen except by a fire move. There's... you could never thaw. Huh. Clearly, I'm gonna need to use some X items here for the next fight to make things faster. Might actually have to work a tiny bit. I can't say I watched the Pokemon anime too much. Mustard? I actually don't know that character. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Are you talking about the old old man mustard? Oh. Yeah, no, I know it's uh, okay. I know what you're talking about now. He's champ for 50 years until he was asked to finally just lose, please, so that somebody else can have a turn. That's probably what it sounded like. Yeah, no, I know who I know who it is now. Alolan Sand Slash. Hi. Have some fire. This time, we're gonna prepare a little better. There we 
go. This time, we will come prepared. Ha! Sit down. And then immediately stand back up. Like, see, look, he's, he just stands up after sitting down. Oh, thank you, Joel. I stream Friday, Saturday, and Monday. If you're interested in coming by again, I would love to have you. It's been a fun time talking, talking with you. But like I said, keep in mind, I am a variety streamer too, so I love Pokemon and we will play lots of it, but not all the time. I play lots of, lots of other games too. Also, Captain Kebolfa? Did I say that right? Thank you for the follow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set up on this Onyx. Special. I've only got two left. Uh oh. Hmm. Yeah, but I need to make sure. I need to make sure he goes down. Absolutely critically important. I'm gonna just call you Captain if you don't mind. Works out nicely. I should have bought more X specials. I probably will. After this. Yeah, that's fair enough. I switch around a bunch. Like, for example, uh, have you played any of the Final Fantasy games? I was playing Final Fantasy VII uh, for the first time prior to this. And after I'm done with 100% for this game, I'm going to play Super Mario Odyssey for the first time. And then after that, I'm thinking Zelda. Well, actually, no. Actually, by the time that happens, uh, maybe the Gen 4 remakes might be right around the corner. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, I play I play lots of different games. Also, I occasionally play Mario Kart with my uh, my buddies. If you guys have Mario Kart, you're more than welcome to join us for multiplayer night whenever that comes around again. Yeah, Kebolfa is a little strange. Do you want me to call you uh, Kebolfa? I will if you ask me to. I will happily do so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all hoping for Final Fantasy VII Remake on PC. We're all hoping for that. Glitzy Glow. Bye bye, Hitmonlee. So you're fine if I call you captain then? Like Or do you want Cabolva? Call oh, whatever's Okay, I'll call you captain then cuz it's it's the first it's the first part of your name. So it's it's just easy. It's very easy. Let's go. Um Yeah, I hear you, Joel. I hear you. So many games to play, not even close to enough time to play them all. I hear you. That is correct, correct, Captain. I sure is. I sure am. 
Oh! Why, hello there! Interesting. Hmm. I think this should still work, though. Water, right? Yep, super effective still. Cool rail gun, though. Nice try. The Molin Golem. Hmm. Champ! Yeah, no, the champ is a psychic victim. Bye bye. Favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Again, I think I'd probably answer Mewtwo myself. And I know you're asking uh, Captain, but I'm just gonna... I don't know if I answered you earlier. So I'm gonna just reiterate. I'd say probably Mewtwo myself. If non-legendary, then I'd probably say Gengar, I guess. Always thought it looked cool. Honestly, Articuno looks awesome, if we're going by looks. Like Mewtwo, if we're going by power and usefulness. Oh, Arcanine? Okay. Arc Arcanine? Spelled with a K? Even though it's spelled with a C in the game? I have regrets. No, my, so my training is still lacking, is that it? Go, do not trouble yourself on my behalf. Continue to move forward. The pseudo-legendary, yeah. Ha, huh. okay. So here we have something, yeah. I think actually, because I'm running low on special, Attack boosts, I'll go ahead and move over Mewtwo here. Let's have Mewtwo do this, actually. Okay, Agatha. Let's see how you match up against this. Poison Ghost is not going to do very well. Um, not against this. We're going to go Y form Psychic. Let's blast them all. Ugh. You know, the Gen 4 remakes, when they come out, I'm gonna have to get used to uh, items and abilities. I'm gonna have to get used to those two mechanics being in the game. That's definitely gonna be a thing. Because, again, only games I've ever played was Red and Blue, and now these games, and these games don't have them, so... Yeah. Items and abilities, just to make the game more complicated. You know, I always wondered why they didn't have any pure ghost types in Gen 1. Like, the Ghastly line is the only set of ghosts, and they're not pure ghosts. They're part poison, which makes them weak to psychic, which is supposed to be the very thing that they counter. So it's like, what a strange choice. Like, why would they do that? We 
Sing. Uh, dark type of Alolan Meow. Uh, you can get Alolan Meowth in this game. It is totally possible. It's a trade in one of the Pokemon centers. If you have a Meowth, you can trade it for Alolan Meowth. And it's the and it is the only, the only dark type in this entire game. Let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu do not have any dark types at all, except for that. If it wasn't for that Alolan form, there would be no dark types. There would be dark type moves. Oh, that's right. Excuse me. Also, the partially dark type... Um... Yeah, the partially dark type, uh... Alolan Raticate. That's true. But, there's dark type moves, but there are no dark type Pokemon except for the, those two that you have to trade for. Even though there's dark type moves. Oh, yeah! Also, Alolan Marowak. I forgot that exists too. So that's actually three. Never mind. Um, let's see. For you, just a strong special move. Yeah, stab psychic. Let's just do it. Oh, it's Ghost Fire. Oh, you're right. Excuse me. You're right. Alola Marowak is Ghost Fire. You're correct. Not Dark Fire. Ghost Fire. Uh, Dark Dark Fire is um, it's the one that's in Smash. Shoot, Incineroar. Yeah. Excuse me. I got I got some types mixed up in my head. Incineroar is the Dark Fired. Despite the fact that it probably should be a fighting type. Incineroar is somehow just dark and fire. Psychic. Man, each one of them having six does make their fights longer. Ooh, also, I did not bring in my fairy move. Hmm, that could be a thing. Alrighty, Lance. Just checking. Yeah, we're pretty much full power anyway. Uh... You know what? Maybe we'll just punch through Lance. Maybe we'll just hit him really hard and hope he goes down. Yeah, I was about to say, I have Ice Beam now. I have Blizzard as well. But yeah, let's teach Ice Beam because that's going to be more reliable. Uh, Team Cases, there we go. Icy Beam. Blizzard is great and all. 110 damage is no is nothing to laugh at. But uh, 70 accuracy kind of is. So we lose 20 power, but we get full accuracy. Ooh, that's another thing, weather. I haven't, I've never encountered uh, weather before in a Pokemon game. So like weather, items, and abilities. It's three things I'm gonna have to get used to. And I know Gen 5 is infamous for its weather wars in the competitive scene, so. And then it's, you know, weather was still, weather is still important in the competitive scene. Terrains, that's another thing, terrains. Like, terrains are basically just 
weather as well, in a sense. Except you can stack it with actual weather. But I haven't actually encountered terrains. Weather is in this? Just need to use the move? Really? Really? Is sunny day a thing in this game? Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. I was not aware. It, did, it didn't look like... I mean, okay. I haven't seen hail yet. Or sand... Or, uh... I haven't seen hail or sand yet. And in fact, I don't think I've seen rain. Could it be that sun is the only one they put in? Or does... Wait, does sunny day maybe not do the same thing? Like... What? Huh. Well, ice beam. Hmm. Oh, it's oh because that's right. This is a dragon that doesn't have the ice weakness. This is part water. That's all right. We'll fix this. Yeah, we'll just power up and psychic. So Joel, earlier you said you were cooking? What you making? Aerodactyl. I bet I'm faster. I sure am. I can still ice beam on it because it's part flying, right? Oh, wait, no, water. Block that. It's 50 50. Oh, it's frozen. Why, hello. That works. I'll take that. I'll take that free kill. I'll use something just to finish it off. Chicken wraps. Ah. Waifu's request? Yeah. That sounds good. That sounds tasty. Good old chicken. Tastes like chicken every time. Oh, hello, an executor? Really? Okay, well, I mean, that just makes it quad weak to Ice Beam, Grass Dragon. Bye bye Yeah, I know, I know it's a dragon type. It's probably the weirdest dragon type ever. Oh, an executor. Grass dragon. And it's a coconut tree. It's like, what? <laughs> okay, here comes the, the real main course, though. Here comes the true threat.
Oh, and Charizard too, okay. Well, Dragonite died pretty fast. I mean, it is Mega Mewtwo Y, so... I guess that's not too surprising. Oh, wait. Is it gonna be super effective, though? Oh, it will now. That's not a dragon. Yes, it is. But it's also part fire type. Yeah, it's also part fire, though. Ooh, yes. Okay, so Ice Beam is, like, meh against it. Uh, well, we're still using it again. Since it hit itself with recoil, that should do. Oh, man. Joking around, huh? Uh, I could have used Earthquake, that's true. But Mega Mewtwo Y specializes in uh, special attack, not physical. If I was X, I could have done that. For sure, but I feel like X uh, would have been good because Dragonite's part flying, also Gyarados is part flying. Yeah. X probably wouldn't have been the best choice. Alright. So how about... How about we get ourselves prepared for the champ here? Who do I want to use? I kind of want to go with Eevee, to be honest. And this time, I have my setup move. I have one X special attack. Ready to go. <laughs> you rag. <laughs> the opposite of Gary. I've been waiting for you, champion. I've been training every day to beat you, train. I'm not gonna lose today. Let's battle. Challenged by Jude. comes his Mega Pidgeot. Yeah, we're not setting up on this, though. Gonna kill this right away. I love the remixes in this game. I can't get enough of the soundtrack. It's really good. Oh, look! Free dodge. Oh, it's not dead. Uh-oh. Oh, but it is paralyzed, of course, because we have guaranteed paralysis. Not broken at all. Oh! He pulled back! He switched! Amazing! Absolutely incredible! I do not think I have seen a single NPC throughout the entire game do that up to this point. That's incredible. Well, we can set up on Marowak here. Hold on. High level 60s is not a threat to us. Ooh, ouch. That's painful. That was rude. Here, have one of these. With plus two special, that should be an easy kill. And I'll heal up the damage it did. Hey, Team Rocket is now level 70. 
file plume. No thanks. No need to worry about file plume. As long as we have a good sturdy fire move on our side. But because that's a physical move. You tried to do this last time, Jude, and it didn't work then, and it's not gonna work now. Not letting you get away with that. Bye bye. Eevee grew to level 79. Raichu! Eh. I guess I could have switched in Mewtwo just to blast it, but with Earthquake, I guess, but not really necessary. Any more X items I want to use? You know, actually, it might be nice to have an X speed up. So that when he pulls out his Mega Pidgeot again, of course I am. It is already paralyzed, so I guess I'm already faster than it. Wow, and that's two Pokemon he has that is that have Brick Break. Okay, well guess what? Uh, let's see if I can get some health back. I'll take that HP back. Thank you. That could be problematic. Hmm. Need more friendship. That's clearly what that's what I'm getting from this is need more friendship. Get out of here. Rapidash, definitely no need. Rapidash is such an easy kill. <laughs> well, so far I haven't needed it. I just need I've just needed this entire this entirely broken Eevee with moves that no other Eevee can learn and special stats. Yeah, this game is over. This game is definitely overly easy compared to even just original red and blue. This is. This is really easy. This game is super easy with all the candies and everything. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy how easy this game is. The Gen 4 remakes are gonna be much harder, I expect. I'm gonna actually have to take my time grinding and carefully, carefully proceeding with all the abilities and stuff. Yeah, Let's Go Pikachu is actually a little bit harder, which is why I selected Let's Go Eevee, because Eevee is the, quote, better version, because you have more coverage. But I guess technically the lack of coverage does mean that Pikachu is the harder version. really good if you want to completely overkill particular types of Pokemon. Like, Pikachu has only one type weakness, and that's ground. And if you want to obliterate water types or anything weak to electricity, like, the guaranteed electric crit move is great, and then you get flying and water coverage, which is okay. But you in, in Let's Go Pikachu, you definitely have to actually have your teammates do some uh, do some work because Pikachu gets completely blanked against uh, ground and the ground type for sure. Like you do get you do get double kick just like Eevee. You get double kick to handle Brock, which I appreciate because in Red and Blue Brock was really irritating if you didn't pick Bulbasaur or Squirtle, and it felt like wow 
So I picked Charmander. So I feel like, you know, this first gym is unnecessary, is kind of unfair. Am I faster than Pidgeot? Yes, I am with X, X speed. Sure am. Now where's the real champion? Where's Red? The true champ. Honestly, I don't know why Red isn't in here for us to challenge. He must have voluntarily left. Do we get to read? We get everything recorded again. So every time the champion is challenged, their team—if it's cha—if they change the team, they have to re-record the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. In fire red, but I'm talking about original red and blue. Steel moves weren't a thing yet. I didn't play Fire Red or Leaf Green. I haven't played those. Congrats, champion. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I didn't fight the real champ. The real champ is red. Also, I haven't, I'm still not high level enough to fight the level 75 Charizard. Ugh. I'm not high enough yet. It's nice, but it's not nice enough. Because this guy's Charizard's level 75. I'm not ready. To, I need. I, I've already beaten the Eevee trainer. That was that was easy. Um, <laughs> but like, I need five more, five more master trainers taken down for Red to appear, and then, then I am truly done with the game. At that point. Um. That said, we are fully healed, right? I mean, I am level 69, so maybe I could... Yeah, minus the dex, minus... Well, yeah. Basically minus the dex. So, the, like I said, this is just my blind run. Next run will be the 100% run. Where I will actually try to get everything. I, again, I have to arrange trades. But... I've already got, like, Judex said he'll help me. I hope you guys will be willing to help me if, like, you know, if you have Pikachu. Or if you don't mind trading certain things to me, like, that'd be great. I know some people come in at random and are interested in trades. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to refine my team a little bit more. For sure. I'm gonna have like maybe, just, I mean not just six, but probably two teams worth of Pokemon that'll actually care about leveling up and then everybody else won't matter. We'll see how it goes. Um, uh, could I maybe artificially boost my Charizard? It'd be nice to finish today. It's about time for me to end the stream. Um, honestly, I, this is later than I normally stream. So, if before I go, if am I close enough to where I can candy my way to success on this guy? Any chance I could just 
cheat my way to a victory, maybe. Get me a rock slide win here. Because I have rock slide here, but... That's true, I can also go for health candy. I've got so many health. This will help me survive against his thunder punch shenanigans. Uh, sadly, no. <laughs> Fossil Pokemon that I obtained ultra late game is probably not going to be a concern for my team. Sorry. Tough candies. Yeah, more toughness to block Thunder Punch. I'ma cheese my way to a victory, even though I'm underleveled and can't use items. I can still Mega Evolve on top of maybe being faster and more durable. Maybe. Can I eke out a win? Or do I need to grind some more? Uh, yeah, the 9k CP. Oh man, that's a lot. 9k combat power. I want I mean I wonder where I'm at right now. Like I before I was at like 5 5k or something like almost 5k? Am I at least over 5 now? Um, we're gonna go with Zard Y, and we're gonna go with the Quad Effective Rock Slide. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's terrifying. It's possible, even with level 100 Mewtwo, it's possible to be short? That's awful. No, it's still, he's still faster than me. That's extremely bad, unless this rock slide does a ton of damage. Oh boy. What? Oh my gosh. He's still that much stronger than me? By that much though? Ugh. Or I need to get extremely lucky with Air Slash, is what. I wonder what my own Thunder Punch would do to him, to be honest. Probably not as much as his did to me, that's for sure. If I get an Air Slash flinch, I would win, but... Or a lucky dodge. Yeah. Well... Drat. I could candy him, but I really don't want to do that if I can avoid it. How close are we to another level? Actually, we're pretty close to another level. Ah, uh, but I can't, I need to stop though. We will get him on Friday. I'll have done some more grinding by then. Just a little more, at least. What's the combat power of my Mewtwo? Ah, 62-12. I don't know, maybe it'll happen. If I get close enough, I can just candy it up. We'll see. Of course, I'm at level 78 already, so I don't know. But yeah, all right. Charizard needs some help. Yeah, everybody else is higher level than Charizard right now. Why is... Yeah, oh my gosh. Except for, uh... Imaginite here. All right. I'll do a little bit of grinding off stream, and next time on Friday, we'll wrap up this playthrough. And then... 
I'll probably do some Age of Calamity stuff, and then Saturday should be the start of the 100% playthrough. In all likelihood, Saturday will be a great day to start that. I'm gonna come prepared this time. Like, this time, I didn't have an Eevee with a particular nature. I didn't really care. But this time, I'm gonna care. But for my 100% run, I'm gonna care. I'm gonna get just the right nature and everything for it. My team is going to be absolutely the best. For single player. I don't do competitive. Anyway. Joel, Duck Game, uh, Captain. Thank you all for coming. You guys have a good night. Uh, thank you for the raid, Joel and Vic. Uh, thank you, Aurora, Judex, Avalon, and everybody else who came as well. You guys are awesome. Thank you all so much for coming. Have a good night. I will see you on Friday. One last TV pet. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is where most people tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while I would appreciate you doing all that, if you enjoyed my content, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex so you can watch and chat with me while I make these. I'm a family-friendly streamer, so everybody's welcome. Throw me a follow on Twitch and Twitter so you can get notifications when I go live. Links will be down in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to meeting you.